at agriculture not just as a provider of food, but also as a provider of money. And there's so much money in agriculture, but the question that Balozi is asking, how come it's a older generation, uh, the average age of some of the MCAs here, who are in farming and not the younger generation? Why is it that farming or agriculture is not sexy? So what we're going to do with this program is put some glitz into agriculture by showing people that they can actually make money and they can become rich and they can have their livelihood by engaging in agriculture. Because when you get more people, especially young people and women, in agriculture, then it means that societies are well taken care of. The key message I have as we launch today this call is apply, apply, apply. Because we've set high ambitions. We want, together with our trusted partners at the KCIC, Strathmore University, we want to be supporting something around 2,500 companies. We want to create jobs for 17,000 people. And we want to show that agriculture has huge potential to create jobs, prosperity, opportunities, and chances for the Kenyan people. So today we need to have uh, make sure that we support uh, the sector uh, and uh, ensure that we support the value chains uh, of agriculture in the best possible way and make sure that uh, the youth and uh, also the women get an opportunity to grow businesses and uh, it's these businesses that will uh, create the jobs uh, that are so needed. Kenya is one of the most fertile lands in the world Kenyan agricultural products have a market waiting for them, the European Union. We want more. Already today, 80% of your exports go to the European Union with no tariffs. The challenge that we want to work on together is to move from those exports being primarily raw products to those exports being products with value addition, with wonderful marketing. Why not? Machakos mangoes, machakos cashew nuts, machakos macadamia. That will create more wealth that will remain in the Kenyan community and that's the objective.